Hello friend, this is my YouTube channel, IG Blue. You can watch it for a strong lay foundation of information technology and promises you to give you conceptual knowledge in computer. Keep watching for latest videos. Time to time I will come for with the latest video in computer. Thank you. Hello students. Today we will learn about Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. We have already learned many features of MS PowerPoint in the previous class. Let us have a quick review and learn more features of PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is a component of MS Office Suite and is used to create simple and appealing presentations. PowerPoint gives you the ability to make effective presentations by adding text, diagrams, scanned images, clip art, sounds, colors, designs, and animated special effects. Okay, students, can you quickly tell me how PowerPoint helps us in various fields? When we create a presentation, it is made up of a collection of slides arranged in a sequential manner to entertain, motivate, convey, persuade, or give information. The slides contain the information you want to communicate with your audience. A slide is like a page in a presentation that displays brief information you want to communicate with your audience. These slides are grouped together in a sequence to form a slideshow. A slideshow is an electronic presentation displayed on a computer screen one by one. Okay, let us quickly discuss about slide versus presentation. To sum up our understanding about PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a powerful communication tool used to present our views and ideas effectively through visual aids. It is widely used in business world and also in schools to teach different topics. This helps in providing a better understanding of the subject. We can easily import data from Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, etc. into a PowerPoint presentation. We can generate handout material and speaker's note after creating a presentation. A presentation can be projected on a big screen by attaching a computer to a multimedia projector. Students, you have used MS Word as well as PowerPoint. Can you differentiate between both? Now let us find out how to start MS PowerPoint. Click on the Start button. Select All Programs. Choose Microsoft Office. Click on Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. On starting PowerPoint, a blank presentation named Presentation 1 with the title slide appears. Students note that we can create a shortcut of MS PowerPoint on the desktop by right-clicking on the MS PowerPoint option in All Programs option of Start Menu and selecting Send to Desktop. Create shortcut option. Let us now discuss how to create a new presentation. To create a new presentation using our imagination, follow these steps. Click on Office button and select New option from the drop-down menu. A new presentation dialog box will open. Choose Blank Presentation and click on Create. The slide displays the dotted rectangular boxes called placeholders. A blank presentation uses the default settings for text and color. Click on the Layout button in the Slides group on Home tab and select the desired layout from the displayed list. Now you can add text in the placeholders of the slide. Students, what are placeholders? Placeholders are boxes with dotted or hatch marked borders that are part of the most slide layouts. These boxes hold titles, body text, or objects such as charts, tables, and pictures, etc. Okay, let me now tell you about built in templates. MS PowerPoint 2007 does not contain the auto content wizard for creating a presentation. Instead, if you are new to PowerPoint, you can create your presentation quickly and easily by using built-in templates. 
PowerPoint 2007 templates include a sample slideshow that contains various themes and layouts, including most of those that existed in the auto content wizard. Templates give you initial foundation to build a presentation. We can modify text and design of a template, add pictures, sound, company's logo, or can also delete existing contents from the template. Students, note that you can save your presentation using Ctrl plus S key combination or click on Save button on Quick Access Toolbar. Specify the file name in Save as dialog box. The file is saved with an extension .pptx. The shortcut key combination to create a new presentation is Ctrl plus N. Let's now learn how to create a presentation using built-in templates. Open MS PowerPoint by selecting Start, then go to All Programs, then go to Microsoft Office, then go to Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. Click on Office button, then go to New Option. The new presentation dialog box appears. Select the Install Templates option under Templates section. Select a sample template example introducing PowerPoint 2007 from the Install Templates section. Click on Create button. The selected template will open as a new presentation. This new presentation contains 18 slides illustrating different slide layouts, backgrounds, themes, etc. Now you can add text in the placeholders of each slide and view the slideshow. Students, can you quickly tell me what do you understand by templates? That to close the presentation and exit from MS PowerPoint, click on close button on the title bar. Now we will talk about modifying built-in templates. Let us learn how to edit a template and design it according to our requirements. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you will like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.